name is Danny Nida, and I teach here at Green River as an adjunct in biology. I've taught uh, anatomy, physiology, different levels of that, uh, introductory biology, and environmental science. Most people, when you ask them if they want to be involved with bees, it's usually at a distance. They've heard stories, they've been stung in the past, and they think of that pain, they think of that fear. And I'm the person, I guess, to show them if you don't have the fear, it's amazing what you can discover. Uh, the bees are located uh, just off the foundation trail, and there's two colonies located up on that ridge. Then there are two down the hill, and uh, it really doesn't take much to get the, the students out there. I've taken a bunch of biology classes out there and environmental science, and uh, we all march out there, and the paths are all nice and laid out. The, the trail system's real good. We go out there, and we kind of huddle up around the bees and get to show them, show them what the bees are about. With regards to the package installs, um, this is something beekeepers do every single year. It's a basic skill that you have to learn as a beekeeper. And the idea is the more bees you have, the easier it is for those bees to get started. And... You know, you gotta roll them around a little bit, right? They're like big molecules of water. You know, water kind of sticks to itself, right? The major purpose for doing the installations is to give people an understanding, sort of the backside of what beekeeping is. Uh, we're all here about education, so being able to give that experience to other people, it helps dispel these, these ideas that people have that are simply not true. That if you're that close to so many bees, they just want to attack you. These gentle European bees are the ones that we keep for the pollination services. Gentle little creatures, right? Stings happen. I've been stung thousands of times, easily. Um, and every time, it hurts. There's no doubt about that. The one thing I tell people, and I, and I educate a lot of new beekeepers, is I tell them, never go into a colony expecting not to get stung. Because then you lose the fear, you lose the respect. I'm very conscious about what I'm doing the speed that I move my hands, the, the amount of pressure I put everywhere, and it, and it lends itself to this relationship more, that yes, I'm interfering with the colony, yes, I'm invading, and I'm going to do it with as much respect as possible. And I don't know how many people, you know, just stood there in awe in front of me and said, I don't think I could ever kill a honeybee again. And that's a powerful, powerful learning experience. And that's what we do for it. That's why we do it. Yeah.